my name is Joel, and Pastor Dan asked me to share a story with you. I want to share with you what I believe is, is at least a candidate for the best I lost my cell phone story ever. Um, recently, my brother-in-law took his family to uh, over the holidays to Hawaii. While they were down there, they decided to take an excursion with the family and go swimming with the sharks. The way this works is you get in a boat, the guy takes you out, there's a cage floating in the water or sunk in the water. Um, he takes you to it, you get into the cage, then they put things into the water that uh, attract the sharks and the sharks come and swim around you while you're inside the cage protected. So my brother-in-law and his, his daughter, my niece, had done this. Their turn was done, they were back in the boat. Other people were doing the same thing. While they were doing that, they thought it would be neat to pull out their cell phones, which are now everybody's cameras, right? And take pictures into the water of the sharks swimming around the cage. So as they're standing around and they're taking the pictures, my brother-in-law is standing next to the guy that runs the boat and runs the excursion, and uh, he's taking a picture and boop, he drops his uh, very expensive Blackberry smartphone into the water. As he and the owner look over the edge and they watch his uh, cell phone gently floating down into the water when it gets five or six feet deep, they're watching it and sure enough, a very large shark comes up and eats his cell phone. And uh, they, uh, the guy says to him, hey, did you see that? And he said, yes, I saw that. Now, uh, to answer the one last question, yes, they did try to call that phone while it was in the shark's belly and no, the shark didn't answer the phone call. So anyway, that's, the, that's my story, that's his story, it's a very true story, and that's my, uh, my recommendation for the best I lost my cell phone story ever. Thanks.